Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do a little tour of my plant shelf to show you all the plants that I have um, sitting on this plant shelf behind me here. Um, if you haven't watched it already, I do have a video on us building this plant shelf um, and me organizing it sort of for the first time. So if you go and click on that video and watch that first, you will sort of see what my plants looked like then when we first made it um, as to what they look like now obviously as any plant mum does I have rearranged the shelf multiple times <laughs> um, but yeah I thought I would just give you a little tour and show you what I have growing on this plant shelf so here is just a little overview of what the shelves look like uh, this is a I'm gonna say westerly window um, and there is a north facing window here so some of these plants at the front here do get a little bit of direct sun um, but the rest of these guys obviously it's just bright indirect filtered light and they all seem to be quite happy and as you can see right at the top I actually have an aloe vera plant and it is doing 10 times better up there than it was doing in a brighter spot so that's a little tip for you so I'll start the tour off here. This is my beautiful neon pothos. Now these plants actually prefer slightly lower light conditions than bright light conditions. If you can sort of tell by this leaf here, it's a little bit faded. Um, it doesn't look as vibrant and lush. Whereas if you look at these new leaves, they are very vibrant, very lush, and they don't look sort of pale and bleached and washed out. So it really enjoys sort of the lower light situation. And then next to that, I have this cute little string of dolphins plant, which is growing all the way down to the floor. And I have cut it back multiple times and it is still thriving. So I really like that little guy. This beautiful being is a Anthurium clarinervium. It has a new leaf on the way, which I am so excited about. Next to that, I have a... Um, Lipstick plant, again, I have cut this back multiple times and as you can see the new growth at the bottom there. This plant has also flowered for me quite a bit too and I've actually got another one on the top shelf which I'll show you shortly. Next to that I have the OG of plants. This is my Hartley philodendron. Um, again, this plant actually used to be super, super long and it was growing in a really low light spot. Um, until one day it got, I think it was thrips, and I just completely hacked it back, repotted it, moved it here into a sort of a brighter light situation, and it seems to be loving it. So I really, really like this guy. Definitely recommend one of these if you are just starting out in house plants. They're like a a fail safe house plant. They trail. They look beautiful. They look lush. They give you the jungle vibes. I love them and next to that this is another variety of lipstick plant this is the um, the broader leaf variety this one started off really great and I, I've cut it back because it went all spindly and in and naff and it has flowered for me a few times and it does have some new growth on the top here so that's exciting and then next to that is my beautiful philodendron birkin. I really like the, the leaf pattern on this guy. Um, there's like three or four plants in here, so she's pretty chocker, but it's due for a repot soon, I think. Next to that is my Hoya cinnamonifolia. This is my latest plant edition, which I have just potted up. And next to that, I have a Hoya obovata. Um, if you watched my previous video of my Hoya collection, this is probably where majority of them live, so you will be seeing them again. Next to that is my Monstera stanleyana, the variegated version, or I think it's been recently reclassified as a philodendron cobra. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. Next to that is my little, now let me just get over here. This is my Peperomia polybotria. This grew from a little single leaf cutting, which I bought 
ages ago and it's only just started to grow <laughs> to a decent size. So moving up on the next shelf, if you can see this little trailing beauty, that's my fishtail hoya. Next to that is my hoya kirii. Next to that is my hoya lacunosa. And next to that is my hoya Hindu rope. So um, I'll just skip past the hoyas because obviously if you've watched my previous video, you would have already seen all these. This is my beautiful Peperomia watermelon. Absolutely love this beauty. Love the pattern on the leaves. So, so pretty. Next to that is my Hoya Crimson Queen with this beautiful fully white stem. Next to that is my um, Scandapsis Pictus Exotica. I love this leaf. It is huge. It is my favorite leaf. <laughs> um, and this guy is trailing all the way down and I have actually also cut this back multiple times as well. Next to that is my Hoya Crimson Princess and my Hoya Fungi, my Hoya Longifolia, my Hoya Shepherdii, um, the Hoya that I can never pronounce, it starts with P. I have a little philodendron Brazil back there and this beautiful big beast. This is my philodendron giganteum. Its newest leaf had a bit of a kerfuffle coming out because um, I actually recently moved quite a few of these from my greenhouse to inside and I think just the shock of the change in conditions made that little leaf struggle a bit but she's open so that's okay. Now moving up to the top shelf, I have another little Hoya there, that's a Hoya casei. And next to that is my massive aloe vera with like a trezillion babies in there. Um, next to that I have this little, uh, let me try and think of the name, uh, Fetonia. Next to that is a Peperomia something, can't remember that one. <laughs> Next to that is my um, Monstera monkey mask and I have a little Sansevieria, I have a Philodendron I can never say it. Erubescence starts with E. This beauty is my pride and joy. This is my philodendron Brazil. I absolutely love this plant. This is actually two plants which I planted together and I do have another one because I am obsessed with the foliage and the color. It is so pretty. And next to that I have this little long guy which reaches the second shelf. <laughs> That is a Hoya Linearis and next to that is my other lipstick plant and this one is in bloom and I just think they are so so pretty. I love the splash of red against all the green. Uh, next to that I have another Philodendron Urubicens and lastly I have a Hoya Nicholsoniae, Nicholsoniae, something like that. <laughs> So that is pretty much my plant shelf and it is beautiful and I love it. And I have a day bed here which I lie down and I just stare at my plants and it is very, very peaceful and relaxing. <laughs> I enjoy it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour. Um, this was more of like a little sort of vloggy style video. Um, I just thought I would quickly run through and show you all the plants I have on my plant shelf. If you have any questions about any particular plants, um, leave them in the comment box below. Or you can follow me on wildvine.plants on Instagram and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!